How's everyone doing today? I hope you're ready to dive into some detailed trade breakdowns because this is the FOMC trade review. This was one of the exclusive recaps I provided for my paid group within the Discord. These recaps typically happen within the afternoon after the trading day is concluded. This video is packed with valuable insights, so I highly recommend watching the entire session because we thoroughly explore all the key elements you need to understand in order to trade like we do. Last week, we executed Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday perfectly, capturing the daily range in real time during our Discord live streams. Every move was called live with our analysis and trades also posted on Twitter to keep everybody informed. If you're interested in joining the community, trading live with us, while you're scrolling to the description, be sure to hit the subscribe button and tap that like button and you'll be able to find the link in the description. We're aiming for 50 likes on this one, so let's go ahead and dive in. Alright, I'm going to start the recording. I'm going to go ahead and get into it. <laughs> Gonna go ahead and show the uh, these whack ass trades we took today. Um, right. Let's see. Took this one at you know three thirty. Just kind of showing. Um, then one at p.m. into this order block, and I ended up even you know adding back in longing. Um, again. Uh, which one? Yeah, right here. Just longing right back into it. Um, you know, simple internal to external model here. You know, on the five minute. Even on the 15 minute as well, I'm sure we had a, uh, I'm pretty sure, not a, I'm sure, but I'm pretty sure we had a, uh, you know, a 15 minute FEG as well. Um, let me go ahead and pull you guys back over just in case I see any questions. <clears throat> um, got you. And I know new in effect, is he in here? Yes, he is. Remind me to make sure that I answer those questions before the end of this. Um. So, 3.30, obvious, good time-based, um, you know, turtle soup. Coming in, we want to look, obviously, you know, I told you guys what I wanted to see yesterday. Um, you know, continuing from this Tuesday, low of day, All right, finishing out this buy model, and finishing out these highs, taking out these, um, and, you know, seeing how we react to the order block, and then, you know, continue to deliver. Um, especially with our expansion from these lows, and then into the delivery from that exact time, I was super confident in continuing to hold past this low resistance. And then even into our top of the order block into here. And then we, um, you know, we'll talk about why, you know, I was trusting us to continue to deliver. And um, I also, I want to say that I put in chat somewhere, I'll kind of find it and look, but I, you know, talked about being able to warrant an feg being left open on the four hour <clears throat> um and i want to cover why i said that in chat why i was thinking that during the time period of us open lowing into the um you know pm session um candle and then obviously like we you know see big green candle but that's why i wanted to try and enter in on that one because i you know had the thought of it we were already you know continuing from here that like if you think about that you know, PM session delivers from the if then. We see what New York AM did. Obvious, you know, almost double purge theory, inducing more liquidity into these highs here and then into previous day high. And then we come into our 930 open, false market structure shift lower into our 15 minute order block created from London. Right, we don't use this as lower low resistance liquidity into this low. Why? because we have this 15 minute order block resting here we also have right this longer wick that we came into 50 percent of and failed to close what is that that's that's different what the fuck anyway um i was long before <laughs> All right, we'll look at that when we uh when we come into it. We'll look at that 8:30 manipulation, 8:30 into 9:30 into 10 today. Um. Okay. <clears throat> right. Also, as well on the hourly, long wick. I know it. I know it's a long wick. Why do we not fill the long wick to and through? In my thinking, what I've said every single time, right? 
And I'm not going to answer it for you. I kind of want to see in chat, right? Why do we not fill this long wick to and through on top of, you know, I, I get it's an hourly FEG here. So internal to external, pretty simple. Other than that reason, if we're only, if this is a four hour chart and we didn't deliver past this wick, what would be the reasoning that we didn't deliver past the wick? I better see some people typing in chat. There's eight motherfuckers in here, and somebody better give me a valid answer. I better see it. We already filled the FEG. I, yeah, I said that. I said, what's the other reasons? No, uh, as I'm talking about it, when we were in this situation, right? When we were here, not, you know, after we made the new high, um, right? Why would we not fill this wick to and through um, differently from right when we were in this situation here? We filled this wick to and through, but didn't fill this wick to and through. Um, in the, the terms that I always like to say, you know, just because it's a long wick doesn't mean it's always going to get filled to and through, right? We deliver from an EQ of the wick and fit all right just a little bit under all right we mohawk it um but either way right we fail to close one eq of the wick so i don't see us we don't one close past 50 percent of the wick to then take out the low of the wick and then you know in opposite direction we don't take out 50 percent of the wick and then to deliver you know the high of the wick <clears throat> as well inside this is our 1 p.m so our you know our four hour FVG is resting right inside of here. Right? So we have our you know obvious internal to external. What do we also have inside of this range? If we, you know, are thinking only in terms of this low to this high. Right, with internal. Right, we have right, we have our first quadrant of our FEG, right, IOFED on a higher time frame coming into a rejection block on the four hour anticipated. And you know, even if it doesn't want to flip all the way, right, even if it, you know, was still a little black and, you know, had a wick and, you know, looked one to one with the wick and, you know, still rejected and close back inside the range still fine but we then liquidate the low right close back within on the higher time frame and we deliver from an OT of the range okay so it was definitely Sony who was hating I was I get it was around 12 um and I know you got your short but I don't know what the fuck you are shorting I'm sorry. I don't know what you're shorting other than like hoping this doesn't this this doesn't hold. I get we, you know, kind of balance the price range like internal to external, then deliver from the order block, but these are like the most low probability trades you can take. I get it hit, but um almost trading the 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 downward accumulation of Asia um is you're going to look like that one guy. Dude, I got to show you guys this video. This shit was so funny. I was watching a guy trade this shit last night. On the, he, he blew two 150k top step accounts. I was crying, bro. There was so many people in the chat just watching him. That shit was so funny. Um, right, so we have our OT of that range. And then as well, of our 4-hour. I guess I messed up the 4-hour fair value gap. Dummy. <clears throat> there's no clear target to pick then don't trade nah them they are cooked on top step tv anyway um delivering in even you know in a crt mindset right we sweep the range close back within i can understand us coming into an ot of that candle right and then continuing to deliver high like we showed on the weekly candle Ah, makes a little sense, right? We showed on the weekly candle after we delivered internal to external, 
and allowed right for entry slash invalidation past these levels um if you guys don't remember that we showed that here when we were you know a couple days prior a couple days prior um into uh pretty sure it was monday wasn't it monday um and i was talking about you right delivering from ot of this wick as well as right us having a protected low internal to external as well as not really trusting this high <clears throat> right following order flow um we have two wicks here to choose to get filled to and through and i chose the one on the upper with order flow um you know with what we've been following and how do you know which hourly candle to mark ot on so um let me let me let me think about it so i can say it correctly there was there was there's been plenty of situations where we've had this six ten accumulation into your two manipulation then your six continuation even in a sense this four hour candle right it's our previous hourly candle that has done the damage our previous four hour candle that has done the damage our previous weekly candle that has done the damage so I'm not, you know, seeing us like Monday. At no point did I ever say I was bearish after Monday. Um, almost, almost, because we don't like necessarily, like, you know, have to t like, you know, even if we would have closed like a little bit under here, and then very d aggressively displaced back inside the range, I still would have been inside the trade right with the, you know time-based uh, narrative and everything else that's setting on for me it's either 330 into you know i i rarely like this is you know how you guys usually see me trade in london right at 330 um and it's the same every time because it's you know sets up very obviously um of you know us setting a trending accumulation range during asia and then coming in to our balance price range where we've delivered internal external on a higher time frame and then as well came into our 15 minute order block that was my main key level resting <clears throat> with the ot of you know our range on the um on the fucking 0.7 and 0.689 our 0.68 levels right very simply like we showed earlier and then us trusting the internal to external delivery and then as well as you know i can't even say like the hourly right because you would anticipate it closing inside but even as you know close as this 15 minute candle we liquidate the low close back inside the range and i know it's kind of early so you know i don't even think i took it right then um yeah we came a little bit into 345 or it might have been right at 3.30. I can't quite remember. Let me go see. Uh, let me look at the Discord and fucking look at the picture. Three thirty. Yeah, so it was it was this. Along this right here. Can anybody can it bro no way? Oh, I was gonna say, man, oh man, oh man, I was gonna get, I was gonna tweak out. It's gonna be like that. Probably sounded so country, but I was gonna tweak out. I was really gonna be a little upset. Um, yeah, five minutes. Yep. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and then as well as I know you know like the monthly guys and you know we haven't even really been able to cover daily into weekly profiles but i mean we've covered it every like single day technically uh damn y'all shit's messed up and as long as everybody else can hear me um miguel can't but either way he'll, he'll definitely watch the review um Fuck, I, I forgot where I was at. A into doing the damage. Oh, 
Okay, so I can hear. All right, that's cool. Oh, he's brand new. He just got in here. What's his name? And fucking the streamer effect is on. Oh, Najib. What's up, bro? Welcome, welcome. Um, but anyway, continuing um to Miguel's question about the morning. I I can almost see maybe your sense for Oh wait, no fuck, he can't even hear me. Here, I'm gonna try and leave. I'm gonna Try and fix that for them. I want them to be able to hear because me getting bro uh fucking Yeah, hold on, I'll be right back. I'll just join back. Hello? Hello? Oh lord, he broke it for everybody. Alright, can't hear a crunk though. Yeah, that's, alright. Oh. oh, I can hear you now. There we go. It always does that once every time we start. That shit's so retarded. Well, I say when we start, but I've been yapping for like 20 minutes already. Um. Alright, alright. Um, so yeah, let me go ahead and, uh, Miguel had a question. Yeah, let me cover Miguel's question. Um, so why, in a sense, did 830, 840, 830 do the not do the damage inside of here? <clears throat> in a sense, one, yes, it's in a premium. Um, it depends where you longed at. Like, if you maybe took this off, you know, trying to use the previous down closures as support higher, um, I still, you know, don't like that necessarily, so to speak, because, you know, no type of discounted entry, um, inside of, right, our higher to lower, um, our, you know, with our, you know, most recent swing lows to swing high, um, with, you know, technically wanting to balance that lower time frame price range, and then using the order block down here. Um, I mean... Is that so? Did y'all take that and get break even? Or, like, the only one I would have seen here is right. Let me go back a little bit. Sorry. So, where exactly? What time did you enter? I mean, at least it was a BE. Like, that's, like, one I would probably end up just taking. Uh, 849. Oh, yeah, that, I mean, that's, yeah, if you're entering there, that's fine. Um, like, I, it's not terrible in a sense, but it would be one of those ones where I wouldn't very quickly break even. Um, but where'd you get hit break even at? Here? And with no partials above these highs? If you didn't partial above the high, yeah, then, then, um, okay, perfect. So, in a sense, right, 
one, um, you know, especially coming in to 9.30, no news at 8.30. And I know we had FOMC today. We still just ran. But either way, with us internal to external, I wouldn't consider it balancing the price range. And I also wouldn't hold with no, or, you know, like even if, you know, you, uh, you know, go break even, it would have been around here where I would have went ahead and probably closed. Um, and I know this one came down very quickly um, into the five minute closure. But after, you know, this is in a sense of sweeping the Asian high, first tap, second tap, and then into our inducement lower, or not our inducement, but our manipulation lower for open. Especially, like we said, no news, 8.30. No real strong, hard manipulation. There's no FEGs with displacement into our, um, well, it's not even a discounted price array. But, you know, below these internal lows into, right, our fair value gap, you know, below internal lows. So I get it's not in a discount of the higher time frame range. You know, not bad. You took it, good entry. And if you know, you took it and wrote it out, that's fire. Like, that's actually pretty good. You know, like, that's a great trade. Um, you know, I would just understand, like, that. this is one of the things that I most have a problem with doing is, you know, closing that position when I know that it's going to come back and, you know, either retrace and come dig lower and, you know, dig, dig past midnight open into, you know, the order block as well. Um, and then, you know, take out our equal lows, like we said very shallow run past the lows so it's valid to take obviously we're not breaking this low inside of the internal and using these down closure candles highs to push price higher the you know your thinking is not terrible it would it have been a high risk one for me no right because we're not in a discount of the range um and you know like even um you know like even technically like this Right, I get we're not in a discount, you know, of the range technically, but it's going off the understanding that I know that these fair value gaps are going to get left open, and then that comes into the understanding of you know on this hourly here, right? We haven't closed above these highs, right? Look at the you know these closures here versus you know this closure, and then into you know a six close versus right a 10 a, excuse me a 9 and 10 close um so it's uh i i guess you could say it's it's a, it's just a little greedy expecting the breakaway gap there and no retracement um especially you know with how the hourly looked like this looked good um you know in the 8 closing back inside the range anticipating the hourly inside the 15 minute as well um you know, like, it's really, like, I really like that type of, that look, that type of trade. You know, I like how you're kind of trying to look at it, and I, I love that you took it, and, you know, even that you got break e be e um, you know, like, even on a 15-minute, in a sense, I don't know. I mean, I, I would, like, isn't that, like, 200 ticks or something? Like, that's a pretty decent partial, yeah. I don't know. That's... I don't know if, I don't know, I would have partialed, even if you were like in four micros, you know, one micro would have been a good partial, especially, you know, if you were trying to hold till previous day high. Um, I don't know, why didn't you partial? Because I was like, I mean, that's, that's really good. That looks just like the PM session trade. But like, you know, like a full pull. Um, I don't know. I don't even like this. The price action has been so ass recently within the past. Like this was like one of the best days I feel like we've gotten. Um, and I don't know if it's because I've actually been able to sit on the charts and stare at it, especially with the, you know, my toothache and not toothache, but the fucking the root canal. And then, you know, not being on the charts that whole weekend there in New York. And then the week after that with the teeth. Um, but yeah, I just. I mean, yeah, Crunk, yeah, Crunk's gonna hate on that one, but, um, you know, if you took that aggressively on the one minute and entered there, especially into eight feet, yeah.
I mean, I don't know. I, I like it. I like it. Trump, Trump is going to hate it. But, um, you know, then coming into our 930, um, I, right, I like the delivery into our order block. Did we actually not reach past midnight? Uh, barely. Pretty sure that would have been an SMT there. Nah, not even an SMT past midnight, though. That's crazy. Ooh, there was an internal. Oh yeah, there was a there was an SMT down here as well. Um. Oops. Which I didn't even look at to be honest, because we just were delivering higher. Um. And you know it suit this asset, so that's all I needed. Um. But right, we have our displacement with FEGs, right. And then on the hourly order block, oops, looks terrible. Right, and we also don't touch the body, but like I said, right, with the order block FEG, I would warrant not being able to touch the um, order block. I'm honestly surprised we didn't dip past mid I'd open there, but that was just like the other day when we did it. But that's why I would have looked for an SMT there, but I'm not going to teach like midnight open SMTs because it's like not even useful. Um, oh, PM session. Yay. All right. Um, so why did I take the trade? Uh, but let me look again. Got to make sure I... I think it entered on oh yeah no it was this was a really good one right fegs with displacement built up internal come into two um and i hate that it wasn't into the new like four hour candle like that dip lower um you know we would still left that feg open but you know with us closing above the wicks and the bodies um you know even if you know, I know we dipped into this a little bit, but even if we came like a little bit lower into two, I wouldn't have been too mad. Um, not every day, like this morning, like I just put in what I knew was gonna happen. Um, cause like today was like a really good day leading in from Tuesday. It's probably gonna lead into Thursday. Um, and yeah, most likely into Friday. We got news Friday. Um, and it, like we had FOMC this AM, but I mean. You know, obviously, we had FOMC in the PM, so I'm not looking to trade AM. I really wasn't even looking to trade um, London, but I'm not full porting on live tomorrow. Um, I will if it's obvious. Um, <laughs> but anyway, um, like one, one like this, if you guys remember the last London manipulation video, or the last time that I traded, um, you know, it like made like 10k on Apex, just because it looked... You know exactly like this in into three uh fucking into three three thirty four minute order block displacing back into the order block displacing again order block and just re delivering higher um I would love to remember what day that was but I'm pretty sure it was a Tuesday um hell no I'm not even gonna remember it was that was a minute ago. But yeah, into the, the PM session, you know, like into right where you could have entered if you didn't enter on the wick. Um, even in the situation here, like, I want to remember where that second entry was. Oh yeah, I remember this is where I drew the thing, I think. Alright, let me look at the damn thing. I'm sorry to guess in what the trades I took. That's how you should. If you can't remember all the trades you took at the end of the day, you traded too much. Yeah, right at three. Oh no, it was this one. Excuse me. So I didn't trade this. This was not traded. Yeah, I was gonna say I don't. I don't know why the fuck I was looking at this. I don't usually trade two. Um. Yeah, but more into three and then mark it on close just because this was kind of obvious, right? Low resistance highs, just butt fuck obvious accumulation. 
big displacement quickly lower, what do we displace into? 15 minute order block. Um, and I get, this is the situation where like, I just use like the size of the FEG and kind of just use my brain. Um, you know, I get, we have the 15 minute FEG. I do get that. Um, and it's using my theory, you know, of displacing higher to help the case. Right. But that 15 minute FEG fully isn't in a discount. Okay. So, you know, then you got to kind of stack it. You're like, all right, the 15 minute, you know, FEG gives me the confluence, but this wouldn't be one of the situations where I would enter inside of the FEG, right? It's, you know, no hourly, but we've closed, right? Um, more in a situation, right? Internal, you know, and liquidated the low and closed back with inside the range. And then if we, you know, even look at, you know, the previous hourly candle, don't think we quite came into it full discount yeah we didn't come into ot right but we see we come into a discount and quickly displace away um put that back on there and then so for me right i want to try and use the most previous up closure candle that has supported price higher and i wouldn't use these right why they're not in a discount um and we also haven't closed higher time frame you know, to make like, you know, we've made sense for leaving, you know, the FEGs below open, um, but we've made, made no real, um, you know, case here, like 15 minute wise to be able to, I mean, I guess we did close, um, but I'm pretty sure we have an hourly order block or four hour order block um, yeah, that we're chopping inside of. And then we come into the taking up the open as well. I'm not going to lie. Did we SMT that high? I haven't seen that on the hourly. Let me look at the four hour. Fuck. Of course we did. Of course we did. Why did I even ask? Of course ES rose way above the high. I don't even know how the fuck I asked. Um. Yeah, of course it did. Whatever. Um. Let's see, I'm trying to make sure I didn't skip anything, because I know there's like a lot of things I talk about that I add to my trading. Um, this could be a little double purge here, purge high. Um, Jesus Christ. I'm saying purge high, point at the low. Anyway, purge low, purge high into the order block with that high time frame SMT. Um, because, I mean, it's just, this is a terrible look for NQ. Another SMT above all time highs. Another rejection inside of the weekly FEG. Um, you know, obvious Wednesday accumulation. You know, we should have accumulated. Jesus, what am I even saying? Obvious Wednesday distribution continuation. Right, I would have seen it continuing outside of this weekly high. I'm smoking crack. Jesus. Um. And, you know, we displaced a good bit, but especially with the red folder, like, it didn't even act like it was there. So, I don't know, I don't know what, what, what would the deal with that was. I've really never seen an FOMC that's, like, not moved at all. Oh, that bitch did not go nowhere. But, yeah, does anybody have any questions? Oh, nope, new in effect. Sorry. A little bit more yap. Let's see. All right. So, all right, yeah, that's a that's been a big thing I've seen. Um, that's why I kind of sent that thing into the trying to make a you know some people feel better because you know this is that's why I said this was the best day and that's also why I sent this thing. This price action has been dog shit. Um, so I understand the analysis paralysis and kind of how I stack a lot of different things and how it's hard. Um. So, especially, let me see, let me read this question. My buy, I want to say, I mean, I mean, you know, we close on the daily, we closed above, so we, 
should see a delivery higher. Um, I mean, also, you know, we're clearly above, you know, EQ of the wick, you know, so it should deliver higher. Um, so we'll see though. I will definitely, I'll be on in the morning. But, I mean, I do, I mean, I see it delivering higher. I just hate the way, especially like in a sense, you know, for all of our internals to externals on this hourly, and then to the external, internal, external, with us, right, we have broken the high, we just came back inside of the range and started accumulating, um, you know, believes to build that idea that that could be low resistance, especially, I hate the higher time frame SMTs, especially because ES seemed to be the stronger pair for so long, right, we were just, just fucking flying, um, NQ broke, pretty sure NQ broke all time highs first, if I'm not mistaken. Um, like the first time, like all the way, like back here. I could be completely wrong. Um, but, oh, let me, the sell side, buy side have to be taken when we hit a key level. Well, here for this situation, right, we took all of this sell side here in, into this low into this balance price range order block and if we zoom in you know to here when i took this previous day low was here into um an smt past the low so you i mean you technically could have bought like you know in with here and still been fine because we didn't break the low it just would have been in the trade for so long um but, you know, these are technically some of the accumulations you don't want to buy. Um, you know, you want to wait, displace, okay. And, you know, after three, well, that's crazy. Another 315, 330 delivery. Wow. Um, anyway, um, but yeah, I, you know, yes, it has to be taken. Um, right, in a sense here, you know, if we look on the five minute, London took Asia's low. And also took the internal liquidity um, before our turtle soup. Right, we turtle souped here. Breaker on the hourly. Right, breaker, fair value gap, pushed us higher. Internal, external, price range should be balanced with our OT delivery. And then um, push higher. In a sense, um, that's just, I mean, all, that's all where it came from me. The same stuff I feel like I kind of talk about every day. Internal to external at certain times. And then being able to trust that that higher low will hold. Thursday in a bullish week. Cap of the week. Only if we hit the draw on Thursday. Um, if we take out this high on Thursday. I mean, I don't necessarily... It depends how the day closes most times. Like, I don't usually see it as a cap of the week. Like, expect to close nowhere. No, I wouldn't I mean. I would expect probably if we, you know, with Thursday, especially with right how today played out into how Thursday could play out. I don't like, you know, like the accumulation, manipulation, reversal idea for NFP could be, could deliver. Um, but... Also, at the same time, with how everything's delivering um, on the weekly and the monthly, um, I think we're going to go ahead and take out previous week high and the previous month high. Um, and then I, I should expect us to take out the high, reaccumulate above the high, and then deliver higher um, You know, into this kind of buy model here, which is a lot harder to see. Right? Same kind of thing that we've been doing, you know, looking at lower time frame. Right? We build up low resistance. Sweep the low, order block, deliver, break the high with displacement, put it on a daily so we can see the, um, that looks poo poo, but anyway, deliver, order block, does the damage, delivers higher, um, you know, and then finishes out the buy model, and that's kind of the same thing that we're just showing on like the four hour, right, it's just following order flow after the turtle soup turtle soup sequence um 
you know, and trusting the load that's put in, especially with this SMT. Um, and then, you know, with OT of the range being touched Tuesday low of the week, boom, and then closing. You know, in a sense here, right, I took this with being in a premium, right? Obviously, I get I was in a premium. Closed with displacement. Accumulated at a key time, 6, 10. Manipulated. This CR, I mean, this CRT is fire. I'm sorry. Yeah, I know you guys hate it. Some guys hate the CRT. Crump's probably going to. You know, get a gun and shoot himself, but, like, you guys can't tell me this isn't clean as fuck. Like, 6, 10, Asian accumulation. I'm, I'm just kind of pointing out a CRT without a CRT, you know. Um, London, manipulation, liquidate the range low, close back from the side. 6, continuation. 10, continuation. Wow, it's almost like it repeats itself consistently. I feel bad. It feels like I'm almost, um, you know, feels like I'm, uh, coming on here and fucking saying the same stuff over and over again. Not really. Different days, different contexts. Obviously, you guys get to trade the day, see how you did, and then compare it. Also, with thinking and narrative, it's a good thing to, you know, I'm glad you guys wanted to be able to come to the daily review eight strong i'm glad i see like the same eight you know so it's not just hoppers but and then the jeep as well um I feel like who are we missing uh fucking aiden's obviously not in here some other guy oh good job sorry new and effects questions so it depends the conditions like these conditions here but i was super conservative i didn't trade Wednesday or Thursday. I traded NFP day. Um, you know, and that was all, you know, I was able to, with, uh, I was able to, uh, capitalize on just trading the NFP day. Um, so, especially here, like that low time frame shit doesn't work out as well. Um, take all this shit off the chart. You know, especially like, Throughout this, like, you're going to get your ass ate up on the, you know, one minute, whatever. Coming into, you know, Friday, um, damn, we're logging in a premium, right? But we're so obviously following order flow and going to take out the draw on liquidity that it's, you know, that I, you know, I warrant myself being able to trade up here. Um, obviously, you know, of this high to this low, it's in a discount. Um, and we have obvious draws and even, you know, like I said, Order block to order block. Perfect situation. Order block to order block. Order block to order block. Um, so, I mean, my rules are, like, pretty clear, but it's, like, I mean, they're not written. It's just, like, I mean, you know, it's, like, obvious rules, you know. It's, like, all right, we need to sweep a low around this time. I can allow it to sweep either at the beginning, you know, or the, you know, halfway point of the candle, and then see how we deliver for there. Um, like, you know, there's more obvious soups that you're able to actually take, you know, the actual soup. Like, no CSID entry, I'm just taking the first green candle that appears, or the first black candle that, you know, appears. Um, and you're like, oh, you know, how do you not get stopped? You know, you sometimes get stopped doing that. Um, but once you just, like, once you do it so many times and you see that one minute candle liquidate the previous candle low... Um, or, you know, like, it actually form like, a decent rejection block with a long wick, and then us form a 15-minute break, oh, Jesus Christ, a 15-second breaker. Um, you know, I just see that, you know, after certain, you know, like, levels are sweet, especially like this, bro. Like, this is just, we've seen this a million times. If, like, especially the video on YouTube, like, I don't, like, the London, like, last London manipulation video, you know, it was perfectly like this, um, you know, and then into an OT of the range as well. Like, it's fucking, you know, perfect. Rejecting it, all right? You know, we can anticipate that, you know, this five minutes going to liquidate the range low, right? Close back within, order block, liquidate these two swing lows.
right? And you won't always get this, right? You won't always get this piece right here. Um, yeah, sorry, I yap for long. For long. L scammer, no forex review, right? You always won't get that. Um, but in a sense, you know, even entering anywhere within the five minute order block, inside of right, this one minute order block that's been reacted to on the one minute we liquidated the low, and then on the 15 second, which it might not give. Oh, that's 9.30. Right, we've liquidated, formed a breaker, fair value gap, unicorn entry. Pretty simple. Um, nah, you can hop on now. Nah, I'm just kidding. If you actually gotta go, I'm a... Uh, I, I don't know if you hopped out of chat or not. Hey, bro, I'm trying to make sure you guys get your fucking... Get your money's worth for the daily review. You didn't want to hear anymore. You just leave. Nah, it'll be like 7.30. Um, well, 8.30, like New York time. Probably like 10, 20 minutes beforehand. Um, nah, they, most of them be trolling. Um, let me make sure I covered, yeah, right, like I'm talking about always, like, I only use high time frame fair value gaps, um, and this is, like, more specifically for new in effect, right, four hour fair value gap after closing above the high, um, I get this one was, like, more of a, a hard one, but, right, liquidated, the higher time frame for value gap in the four hour um liquidated the one i was okay with longing that um and then you know even like here right four hour inside of this four hour inside of this four hour with the close you know you don't got to catch it inside of this one you don't got to even if you're trying to trade this after you see that reaction in the close Right, you know order flow, higher time frames bullish, you know, so we don't necessarily have to fill that wick. Um, and, you know, depending on how we reacted, you know, especially on a lower time frame. Right, with the rejection. <coughs> Excuse me. Kind of looks poo-poo, but... Ooh, that looks pretty good, actually. And these are the best. Don't sleep on these. Like 5 and 15 minute order blocks. Right. Residing in the higher time frame fair value gaps. Before. Um, you know obviously 1 hour. 4 hour. Um, right. And then. You know on the 15 minute it starts to look poo poo. Right. And that was you know the situation where. Yesterday. Um, where you know. Or not yesterday. But today I took the 15 minute order block. Residing in a low that you know kind of looks like this um but you know we know the low is protected we have a breakaway gap down here we'll come in the ote um right and then deliver higher um yeah and those internals to externals um that's those are my invalidation points the way i zoom is crazy what do you mean In a sense, it would make sense for it to be protected um, and, you know, keep delivering higher. But, um, you know, it would also make sense if we did like we did last night. Where's three at? You know, and then we come into like... I mean, I could even see... I don't know, these two swing lows here are kind of nervy, um, but kind of two scenarios. If we blast past this low, um, you know, giving no type of reaction and obvious long, you know, inside the order block and then inside of that OTE range. I mean, we technically would already got it, so I would see us delivering higher. But, you know, if we start to chop around during Asia, right, display slower, displace again, right, I wouldn't try until London until we take this low into right this wick slash the water block resting here um 
you know, past that low and then into, you know, an OTE of, you know, this range and, you know, somewhere resting within that order block. And then probably the, I don't know. I, that's why, that's how it should play out. Um, but, you know, if we start chopping around and, you know, get no real obvious entries to go higher, um, I just really wouldn't take them, especially being this high in a premium. Um, you know, be better just to wait until like morning. Um, you know, morning, like if we're obviously above the high, you know, and following order flow, you know, just follow that bitch to take profit, you know, at our high above here. And, you know, like we said, previous months, weak liquidity draw. But, yeah. Anybody got any other questions? I'm finna hop off this little thing. I hope that answered all of your questions, by the way. New in effect, I know they were, I know they were kind of, and also like you know, we like you said, we can get, you know, we can always talk more. Um. Yeah, I'm gonna stop the recording. The bitch is at 50 minutes. Oh, I see some. You always look for soups in the key levels. Yes. Do I take C?